Hey guys, we're Evan and Caitlin. Today we're gonna to be dying in six unique and different ways so that you guys don't have any doubts about what is the correct way to dye your wood. <laughs> the analogy kind of like broke up at the end there. <laughs> well, I wanted to like make sure that we weren't actually talking about dying. We're talking about dying. <laughs> Good joke. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've been working on it for like an hour. Today we are making a rainbow bench and it's probably not what you're picturing because when I googled rainbow benches, it all has a very like kids furniture look. It kind of looks like a like a xylophone. Bold blocks of color. Bold blocks of color. And that's not really what we want. We want kind of like a faded rainbow watercolor ombre. An adult rainbow bench. <laughs> an adult, an adult bench, yes. Almost as if like rainbow light was shining through the window and just happened to hit a wooden bench. Now there are some dyes that are perfectly suited for this. They're bright, bold colors that still let the wood show through. But since they're a little bit on the expensive side, we thought we'd try out a few that you might already have laying around, a few that are on the cheaper end, and see how they compare. Because they might work just as well, but they might be complete, might be utter failures. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. because this is all very much an experiment and we're gonna be making our bench out of chunky, slightly more expensive butcher block and we don't wanna just start throwing dyes on that, we're gonna do some small scale tests first. So today we will be testing a gel-based wood stain, acrylic stain for wood and other natural fibers, alcohol inks, food coloring, fabric dye, and a powdered drink with artificial flavoring. Oh yeah. <laughs> so first we're gonna try the gel-based stain, which is meant for wood. Whoa, look at that. Wow, yeah, that's already pretty strong. This is fun. Art projects. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I got you, I tagged you. Luckily, I'm wearing this exact same color shirt as that one. Ooh, you know what I'm curious about? What's that? Mixing colors together. Yeah, you want to try to make a green? I'm going to wow. scoot these guys out of the way. Yeah. <gasps> oh, gosh. Oh, it's already started. The experiment started. Yeah. My hope is that this is just kind of like a watercolor. And my worry is being able to feather the edges. So let's see if this Yeah, the like, edges are harsh right the now. The edges are harsh. It's. It's almost like a little too liquidy. I might have yeah. applied too much water. I'm gonna get the big boy brush. Wondering if we diluted them too much. I'm sure you can do multiple layers to build up color that you want. Yeah. And you can definitely see the wood grain through this, which is nice. <laughs> no response. Okay, so let's try a slightly less diluted version. I actually like this a decent amount. Yeah, should we move on to another yeah. technique? <laughs> we'll reserve our judgment till the end. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna try the acrylic-based dye for wood and other natural fibers. Ooh, oh, oh my geez. gosh. Okay. That's a lot. I'm gonna try to do a little bit. Oh, we were supposed to shake them. <laughs> Very similar. It maybe seems a little smoother to me. Blends out a little bit better, I think. Look at that. Okay, oh. cool. Wow. Wow. Next. Okay, next, alcohol inks. This could be the best or the worst. Yeah, so we use <laughs> these all the time with resin, but I'm curious to see how they will perform on wood. <laughs> we'll kind of do it like, like per each one because alcohol actually evaporates really fast. Well, here, I'm gonna squirt some alcohol on the wood too. Oh. <laughs> you, oh, did you cough because of that? No, or, I, preempted, or preempt I preemptively <laughs> coughed. I was wondering, it was a preemptive cough. It was. <laughs> oh, and we have a, a supervisor with us now. She has decided to oversee our testing. I'm inspecting. Ooh, I just got a, ooh, I just right? got a whiff of that. Ooh. Juby, I don't know if you want to be in here right now. Ooh, oh, that's ooh. actually like very nice. It's subtle. Might need to add a little bit more. Yeah. It has and a it's very, very smooth. It has a very nice look to it. Yeah. Oh yeah, the alcohol I spray down to disperse it is already gone. So you have to like spray it on and right away apply. Yeah, so I guess the hard thing about this is you have to work kind of quickly. Yeah. And it smells great. It smells great. 
purple is like still, it's like nope. spreading like a plague. I'm trying to stop it. Oh, no, stop, stop. <laughs> it's interesting, it's bolder, but it doesn't really have that soft, nice pastelness to it. Now, let's see how it dries. Oh, yeah, let's see how it dries. Don't judge a die by its first try. Thank you, I'll have my PayPal linked below. For what, people are gonna pay you because you said a really fun thing? You went out, you all done? Yes. You had enough of our shenanigans? Yes. Goodbye. Bye. Neat, you gonna call awesome. it? Yeah, I'll, I'll call it. I feel like I got a good enough feel yeah. for it. Sorry, I said I'll call it and I just, I... <laughs> It's okay, I understand. <laughs>
I mean, this is actually, if you wanted a really subtle look, I actually, I don't hate it. Okay, I think that one's pretty good though. Yeah, yeah. wow. Should we let these dry a bit <clears throat> and then evaluate? Yep, let's do it. All right, here they all are. Okay, the surprising contender here is drink powder. Yeah, my, my only worry is it's a tiny bit muddier, although I kind of like that. I kind of like it. And I worry about getting the full range of colors because mixing them was not a success. It turned gray. Fabric dye is the worst. The worst. It, it, it didn't blend well. It didn't dilute well. Now, I will say, ours was old and chunky, but I still, I didn't like it. I did not like it. Alcohol ink, interesting option. Very bold, but hard to blend. Blending with alcohol. Too much alcohol, time pressure. Too much time pressure. Smelled terrible. Yeah, so these two are definitely like down by the, yeah. they're, they're bad. I'm gonna put food coloring as the next worst, actually. The color really? was okay, but the colors weren't even. So Cause I thought I thought between these two, food coloring could actually win over drink powder just because you can build it a lot faster. It seemed not even. Like I added four layers of yellow, and same with the green, whereas the blue and red. So I worry Can't about the, the evenness. drink powder. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it in a weird way. I like it in a weird way. Each pack it was twenty five cents. It's generally like a fairly cheap thing. You might need to experiment to see which color gets which. And there is a limited number of colors. Really, we got like bluish, greenish, yellow, and red, and that's it. But still, okay. Now for the real, true main contenders. This is like the the, the box, the match, the what's like? What's the final boxing thing? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. The throwdown. It's the throwdown. <laughs> the throwdown. The two, of course, legit things that are meant for this: the gel stain and the acrylic dye. Yep. Yep. <laughs> the acrylic dye was easier and I think it just <clears throat> looks nicer. It was easier to blend. It's easier to get bold and it's easier to feather the edges. Yeah. It's 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 by far like the clear winner to me. And it was acrylic dye numero uno. And it was a little bit cheaper than this one. It was. So at least uh, there's that. Per volume? Like a dollar cheaper, right? Per bottle? No? Uh, this is kind of probably the most expensive. Oh, well, gosh darn it. <laughs> All right, well, hey, that's it though. It's great to know. Now we can go ahead and get to, what are we doing next, the woodworking? The woodworking. The woodworking. Next, we're gonna get to the woodworking. Is that deep enough? Yeah. What happened? I was thinking bench. Okay, legs go down. The legs the wrong way. We have a zigzag bench. I just, I just realized. Okay. Can we just cut it the other way and our bench will just be a little bit shorter? Okay. Gosh darn it. Ta-da! <laughs> Ooh, you dusty. Look at this giant gap right here. I must not like, this has a detent at 45 degrees, but it is my, must not be calibrated or that accurate. Here's a little metal feeler gauge that I'm gonna stick about an inch in. Oh no. It's oh, just no. like, it's just not even contacting. There's just a thin little bit of contact at the top. So I think we're just gonna have to power through this and Sand it. Oh, oh, that's so much better. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a lot of work. All right, time to bust out the thick and quick glue to fill the gaps and hide our mistakes. <laughs> we don't 
quite have the tools to do a perfect waterfall edge, so there's, there's still a few gaps. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, oh, it is thick. Oh, dang. Oh. Is it thick and quick? It's thick and kind of hard to squeeze. Is it old? Yes. <laughs> it is thick. Ready to move it into place? Yep, yep, yep. So it's a pretty wide board. It's a white boy. It's a white boy. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's my excited dance. <laughs> if you were wondering. Not, not at full strength yet. Should but... we not flip it? <clears throat> Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> Let's clean it up a little bit first. Yeah. It's looking good though. It's looking good. Go for it. <laughs> okay, we turn it over. <laughs> I mean, it, it, I'm sure it's dry by I mean, now. It's, it's, yeah, it's been enough time. Oh, it's, it's heavy. It's, it's, a, it's a beefy it's a big boy. boy. <laughs> Yay! Nice! Oh. Can I fit on it? <laughs> That's pretty sturdy. Yeah. That feels solid. Want to make it, it uh, want to make it pretty with some rainbows? I'm kind of nervous because like, it looks because, like nice. this is like a really nice classy bench and I could ruin it or you could ruin it. <laughs> I mean, you but know. The, the, the potential is there for something even more. I know. Let's, let's, let's realize the potential. Because we don't, we don't want to just be basic benches, you know? <laughs> we don't want to be basic benches. <laughs> Recording, you want to get this guy? All right. Everyone's here. The gang's here. The gang's all here. We have our... Man, this is so satisfying, all the brushes. Yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> so we're going to do a, a similar pattern to what we did with our little test pieces, where it kind of starts red in one corner, goes through the rainbow, ends up violet on the other side. Yes. Oh, we should spray it down. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to go like this. <laughs> <laughs> Kaylin, what if we did finger painting? I'm joking. Mm. <laughs> Start light. Yeah, we can always go more. What if it looks horrible on Butcher Block? It'll be fine. If it looks terrible, we sand it off. Change the entire premise of this video. <laughs> Pretend like it never happened. You ready? Yeah. Okay, this is, this is good. Ooh, yeah. looks like a Jolly Rancher. Mm. Look at that, mm, yeah. Oh, you yeah, had so so vibrant. Yeah, you got you uh, I, I, that out. I, I I added so much water. Just just brush it off and then dip only in water. Yeah. Oh, it's running down the sides. Okay. Oh my gosh. Hey, it looks beautiful. Everything's fine, Caitlin. Don't worry. Don't 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 look over here. <laughs> <laughs> like I was just feeling good about this. Like, oh yeah, this is totally easy. It's just like the little one, and then you're like, Ugh! oh yeah, that that has, is actually looking a lot better. Oh man, that fade over the edge. Mm, 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 mm. This is so good. You know how I joked about finger painting? That actually works great. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, this is so, so pretty. So subtle, I love it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start blue. And I'm kind of cool with not doing the green and just like fading it. This is really fun. So far, it, it's like exactly what I hoped for with that like watercolor look. Yeah, it's like, it's like there's a prism right here. Yeah. And the sunlight is hitting the prism and creating yes. like a rainbow that has fallen upon this bench. That's what I wanted, like like a rainbow light hitting wood. Like if it was coming through your 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 prism. You can see the inside of the legs. Yep. We need to wrap it slightly on the inside. Oh. So oh. I need to wrap this slightly and you need to wrap that purple slightly. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay.
Pose with your work. Pose with your masterpiece. <laughs> it's like, I love it. I don't want to do any more, but at the same time, I want to do more. <laughs> okay, how about we pause? We let it dry a little bit? Yeah, and then we, we And then, then we, we look see. at it again. Yeah, that's okay. probably smart. Okay, because I think once it's dry, it'll either become more, you know, might become more subtle and we'll be like, oh, we do need more. Yeah. Or we might be like, oh, that's perfect. Let's leave it. You know? <laughs> I just want to do more. I know, I know. Okay, we just got to do more furniture builds and let's add rainbows to all of them. <laughs> we'll add rainbows to everything, galaxy resin to everything. Glow in the dark resin. And RGB LEDs. Okay, so we let it dry. <laughs> I did a weird thing. Oh. Okay, so we let it dry and we really, really like how it looks. Yeah. I, I feel like touching it more, we would just go too far. It has that perfect fade. It's perfect so fade. smooth. It's, mm. it's so smooth, it's so subtle, yet it's also very obviously there, but it really has that look of like rainbow light just <laughs> right across the wood. All right, so we did some tests to see what finish we like over this. We did a varnish, a clear varnish, a wipe-on poly, and a water-based polycrylic. And the one we like the most is the water-based polycrylic. It's, but it, it's a matte. It's a, it's it's a, a matte. matte finish, and that's, we've really been liking that. It's the perfect balance of like, you it can tell heavy. it's finished, mm -hmm. but it's not like glaring. So we just go and do that. Yeah. I mean, it's good. Am I off screen? Ah, you're off screen. Woo, it's done! It's done! Oh. I, I think my mom's reaction when she saw this was the best. She looked around, she's like, where's where's the light coming from? How is the light hitting it Evan's like that? Evan's mom was here yesterday. Yeah, it's really cool. It's like, that's exactly the look that we were going for. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that we hit it. Light, gently <clears throat> touching <laughs> the wood. <laughs> just very excited that we could actually make it work. Cause yeah. we hadn't really seen this out there and it's just cool to take what's in your brain and. Make it. We have, it do, we have to do one more thing though. We have to sit on it. Three, two, one, sit. It didn't fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like it's like a, anytime you make a piece of furniture, if you don't test it and sit on it. You're gonna upset people. You're gonna upset people. We've made that mistake before, so <laughs> observe. Good job. Yay. All right guys, well thanks so much for joining us in another video. Um, we'll just be here sitting here and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so bad. What, what, what video is that from? It so looks so bad. bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Judy. Three, two, one. She <laughs> <laughs> <You> said sh. <laughs> no, no, I said sh. <laughs> sit, sit. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll explore in different directions. You don't want to be together. Oh, of course I want to be together, but I also want to be efficient. I just want iron. Girls only want one thing. Iron. I'm an iron digger. <laughs> <laughs> I am, because I'm digging it. it's disgusting. I'm digging it.